Hi, uh, my name is Tepe Ono from HP Systems. Uh, today I'd like to introduce uh, uh, our services uh, for the Science Cloud and show some demonstration. But before that, uh, many of uh, you don't know who we are. So I'd like to give uh, our company introduction first. Then after that, I will show that the realistic uh, MD simulation, which we've done using the ARM architecture. So uh, our company is uh, established in 2006 and uh, is a solution company for uh, hypermost computing and AI, uh, deep learning, and the computation chemistry in life science and material science. And also we provide a, a configured order for industrial computing and the machine vision and the IoT. And uh, our mission is to support scientists for their research and the engineer for their product development. And we are located in, in uh, Tokyo, Japan, and we have an office in also in Kyoto, and we have factory in Japan and also in Taiwan. And uh, uh, that's it. And uh, uh, we have been doing the business uh, uh, study from 2006, but uh, actually this company emerged in 2006. Uh, if we uh, include the history of all the company, uh, we doing the computer business since 1980s. So. Uh, we're doing the computer business since quite a long time. And uh, in 2007, we started developing the, our own hardware. Uh, it was called a, a desk side cluster, box cluster. You have a phone node cluster under your desk. And uh, also we're providing the, some of the optimization tuning for the uh, OpenMP and PI CUDA. In 2008, we started providing the, some of the uh, HPC on cloud because uh, at the time there's no such things. So we start providing this kind of services in uh, this area. And the study from 19, uh, 2013, we uh, started providing the uh, service called the uh, Competition Chemistry Consulting Services. Then the, after that, we started developing our own software for the chemistry, uh, which is called the Reaction Plus Pro and QMM, uh software. Then the, after that, we providing the on-premise cloud hybrid solution. Then the, now we are under developing of uh, uh, molecular orbital and the molecular dynamics with uh, material informatics, so including the deep learning, and now it's going up. So our mission for the HPC is to accelerate the customer research and development uh, using the HP systems, chemistry, cloud, and deep learning AI. We uh, provide a solution from the hardware, the customer system, or different kind of hardware from the uh, server, workstation, GPU storage, network, uh, switch, uh, application, and the middleware, and the job monitoring. Then also we have uh, providing the all different kind of uh, uh, chemistry software, which is uh, uh, have a different standard application, uh, commercial application, and also the open source application. And then also we have developed our own software, original software. Then also we providing the consulting for technical supports for the HPC, and also the competition chemistry consulting uh, supports, uh, such as like molecular structure optimization, or uh, homonomo analysis, or Raman NMR spectrum, or reaction path analysis, or such, uh, and also we provide in the seminar for the computer chemistry. So we have uh, uh, three second area for the customer. Uh, we have uh, a variety of uh, a customer in university laboratory uh, in Japan, and uh, also we have some of the customer in USA and also in China as well. And also for the government institution, and also for the industry. For the industry, uh, we have the customer like uh, uh, chemical, hypermass material textile industry, and also the pharmaceutical, cosmetic food industry, internet services, uh, automobile, uh, electric home appliance industry, and the AID planning, and the heavy industry, and the agriculture engineering. We support various sub software uh, from micro scale to macro scale, uh, quantum mechanics, solid state physics, or market dynamics, or some free analysis, uh, magnetics, and so on. This is uh, our own developing original software for the chemistry. And also we provide uh, the benchmarking and the build application uh, based on the new hardware architecture. Uh, uh, this last year, we did uh, some of the uh, high silicon 1616. And also now we are doing the, also the uh, cascade rake now. Also we provide uh, the uh, software acceleration tuning services, uh, which is uh, the customer have their own in-house software program. So we did uh, we do, we do the some some of the software tuning or uh, uh, optimization uh, to the some such as like a GPU, multi GPU, or uh, from uh, MPI parallelization. And the last seven years we did around like a 200 program for acceleration. And uh, for our 
doing also the competition chemistry solution. We provide a cost-effective competition chemistry services to, to support uh, soft chemistry research and development program and so on. Now uh, for the ARM HPC, uh, we have been working with the ARM architecture since uh, 2017. And uh, at the 2017, uh, in November, it's maybe like two years ago, almost two years ago, using the Gromax 16.4, and uh, we deeply tuned for the Neon A SMD uh, assembly codes and did the uh, benchmarking with the uh, Gromax official benchmarking called the DHFR in water. But actually, like uh, the performance is not so good. You compare like a uh, single position and the double position, uh, compare with, uh, I think this one's Broadwell, uh, with the Sandex 2. So we're using the single precision as the one third. And if we use the like, double precision, it's going to be one fourth. So I think the Gromax assembler code might not suit up for ARM Sandex yet. So waiting for the Gromax uh, maybe uh, 19 something to be able to run better performance. And also the other one is uh, LAMPS. Uh, this one also done in November in 2017. Uh, and uh, we did a benchmarking using the uh, uh, various input. And uh, also this one also, on the performance is uh, a half performance. So I think uh, we have to wait for the uh, next, next generation become the same length we comes like a one 12 bit processor okay and this is a case so that we did for the competition for some of the customer in the cosmetic uh, company uh, this is a liposome capsule and you, you slice it and when you slice it then the, you have a moisture ingredient inside I cannot say what is inside but the uh, ingredient inside the outside you have a multi-layer lipids and you did a uh, uh, assimilate and penetrate into the skin. Then the, in, this one is uh, the, uh, the skin here. This is a honey layer. Inside the honey layer, you have a, a certain corneum, uh, which made by the uh, ceramide and cholesterol, and also palmitic acid. Okay. So this one, unfortunately, this one is done with using the uh, Intel CPU. Okay. So uh, then after that, we did the, uh, try to do the same uh, simulation using the ARM architecture, whether uh, using the uh, realistic uh, MD simulation. So this is a, uh, uh, we have a uh, platform for the chemistry application based in the science cloud. And uh, you just have to log in. Then once you log in, you just have to uh, input, uh, uh, upload the input file, browse and upload. Then choose the application here. Then the, you choose the hardware. Now we have a uh, uh, Sandex 2. <laughs> And also we have a uh, high silicon 1616. And maybe uh, this month we will have uh, uh, 920, the newest one, with a high silicon 1620. We're so waiting. Okay. Then once you choose the hardware, you can choose uh, uh, Sandex 2 or high silicon, or like, you can use other uh, inter CPU, or request some other architecture as well. Then uh, after you choose it, then you can uh, uh, check the configuration, then the compute. Then once you compute, then you can check the uh, jobs list here, and uh, check the status here, and finish it. Then you can uh, output and download. Okay. So I can show you a little bit uh, with demonstration. Unfortunately, like, this one is not inside the cloud because uh, uh, here is in China. It's uh, very hard to access from outside. And I tried to uh, build inside the uh, uh, Alibaba, but there was a complication. So we did uh, uh, just a show in, in my computer here. Okay. So this is the interface. Then the, just after login, then choose the input file here. Just a browse. And the, they have the input file. By the year, and you just uh, uh, upload. Then there's a, a various applications that maybe not supported for the ARM yet. Uh, so, just for using for the market dynamics, uh, you choose this one. And you go next step. 
which is a Marvel Index 2. Then you check the summary and the configuration. Then calculate and check the job status. So when it's finished, then you have a So this is a output file. Then you have a tra trajectory inside here. So if you want to visualize, you can use that one. So if you want to like, visualize uh, using the VMD uh, 1.9.3, then after that, you have uh, this kind of structure. This is the initial structure of a lipid uh, bilayer membranes. This is before the assimilate and the penetrate the moisturizer into the skin. This is the after, then the, there's about the by layer is about 84,000 atom with a PME. Uh, this is 0 0.5 per mole second uh, times 200,000 uh, set. It's about 0 0.1 nanosecond simulation. This is a real realistic simulation. And the, for the compute, it took about the, the wall time is uh, 1200 second. It's about 20 minutes. Okay, uh, using the uh, using the uh, 48 MPI and the OpenMP uh, 4 parallel is about 192 threads uh, using the ARM compiler for HPC and ARM performance library 19.0 and the OpenMPI 2.1.5 and Gromax 2018.4 uh, and using CentOS 7.5. Okay. So this is the uh, uh, permeability of uh, moisture for the repeat by layer membranes. I'll show you how it looks like it. Then the, here is the honey layer. And inside, there's a, a ceramide and cholesterol and a palmitic acid inside and outside. And the bottom and uh, top one uh, for the bilayer for hydro repeat film here. Okay. So let's show you the demo. So uh, for the science cloud, for the future architecture, uh, we are trying to continue to develop the software and put in the all different kinds of software inside. Uh, uh, it's going to be based on the application um, image, the content ice, uh, based on the all different kind of application uh, for the science, uh, for the chemistry. And also we are developing all different kinds of solver uh, related to chemistry as well. So in offering this science cloud, um, do you have a preferred charging model? So do you charge people per hour of uh, walk clock time or do you charge them per application usage for getting results? Uh, it's going to be the application usage. Uh, actually, like we are trying to make it uh, all the hardware is free, then we charge it based on the application. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.